A new research project is diving deep to investigate Australia's southern seabeds, adopting an unusual assistant to access unexplored areas. Sea lions have been enlisted as videographers to help in the study. But why sea lions? And what have researchers learned from the images captured by these creatures? The cameras are giving us completely new data that we just didn't have before. So, um, and particularly considering that the, uh, the species is endangered and um, key questions are identifying, yeah, what habitats, uh, what behaviors, what areas and what prey are, um, are key for the species. That's really, really the kind of the big question. So the cameras we use are really specialized. So they're custom built for our, our study and our purpose. So they have lots of um, different sensors that we can use to control the video recording because we want to maximize the quality and the amount of data we collect. So it has things like depth sensors. So we can begin recording only at a specific depth and it has sensors for the time of day. So we can record during the daylight um, as well in different light condition. The cameras go through um, a series of rigorous tests before we put them on an animal. We sedate them lightly for um, anywhere about half an hour to an hour, attach the gear with, um, with uh, waterproof glue that gets glued to a piece of neoprene that then gets glued to the fur of the animal. And then they will go to sea for a few days and then through our GPS trackers that we have on the animals, we can monitor where they are in real time and then when they return to the colony, we can um, we can locate them and recover the instrument, instrumentation and download all the data that it's hopefully collected. I analysed over 120 hours of footage that we had from different cameras and different projects from a range of different sea lines from different colonies. So, um, and I guess each chapter of my PhD focuses on different aspects of their foraging behaviour or their habitat use, their movement and the areas that they use. So. Um, yeah, we had one chapter focusing on mapping the habitats that we observed from the, from the video. I had one focusing on the different foraging strategies that sea lions use to capture prey. So that's quite amazing. They use, um, they use really novel and specialized strategies. So things like digging up the sand to capture sharks and stingrays within it. Um, they use ambush predation. They flip over rocks to try and catch oct octopus underneath. So. That was another really interesting component of what um, what the video data provided us with, and then we also had a uh, we had footage of a mother taking her her pup to sea, which was the focus of another chapter of mine, and that was essentially the first direct evidence that we have that sea lion mothers pass on their foraging skills to pups. So that's that was a huge moment, and that's something that sheds really important light on lots of things about their unique life history and their reproductive cycle. Being able to use this data to then say for you know for this particular colony that these habitats are really important or we think these types of prey are really important and that can help direct management and conservation of the species and we're collecting data about the marine environment so you can use that for lots of lots of different applications so you know in one chapter we focused on mapping the seabed and that has really important utility for marine scientists from lots of different fields and it, the sea lions are collecting data on other marine species that might be of interest and um, habitats across across southern Australia. The sea lions are giving you information on the ecological value of different habitats and areas and prey from, from their perspective, from the perspective of a predator. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you can get even more Australian Geographic goodness.